So, the gene editing tools. We keep hearing a lot about them, mainly from the crazy scientists in the sci-fi movies, like in the Jurassic Park. Well, to their defense, it indeed seems like that there isn't a more thrilling use of the gene editing tools rather than bring back dinosaurs. But there is a much, much cooler thing to do with the gene editing tools, which is helping the patients with genetic diseases for whom it is impossible to get the optimal treatment in time through the traditional path. So we want to edit people's genes but we do not wish to become villains in the movies. So how do we help the patients in the most disciplined way? Well, for starters, we need to work with the patient foundations as they can introduce us to the patients in need. And in the process, we'll keep communicating with the experts to make sure we'll do everything right. Now to help the specific patients, what we do is we'll get the biopsy samples from the patients and get the DNA from the samples and use deep sequencing technology to accurately identify the mutation a patient has. For example, as shown in the figure in the middle, the blank represents a deletion in the patient's gene. So yes, we can accurately know the types of the mutations we are dealing with, which allows us to design personalized therapies accordingly. A commonly used gene editing tool is called CRISPR-Cas9, which can specifically target the mutation site and can carry different molecular tools to the site for different purposes. For example, we can use it to patch a deletion, or we can use it to deprive a rogue gene, or we can use it to enhance an essential gene that is not working at the needed level by bringing an activator to the site as shown in my last figure. Now here comes the tricky part. After we determine the strategy, we actually need to test it in the lab for a pretty long time. And that is actually the most important part to avoid becoming the villain in the movies. We need to repeat and optimize over and over again until we have enough data to convince the FDA and get approved for the clinical trials. And we cannot stop at one patient. We need to help more and more patients using better and better technologies. We need to keep reminding ourselves to keep become responsible scientists and always help people in need with perfect design and rigorous execution. Thank you.